everybody, it's Miss Jessica, and as you can see, I'm an owl. We are working this week on owls. So let's get started with the supplies that you're gonna need for your owl craftivity. Gather up your construction paper, your owl parts, your All About Owls tag, the inserts for owls, your glue, your scissors, and your markers. You're going to take one sheet of your non cut construction paper. You're going to fold the sides into the middle like you see here. This is where you will take your scissors and you will cut off the corners. Mine have already been cut for you. Now you're going to build the outside of your owl. So gather all your owl pieces for the body and the All About Owls tab. Start gluing on your owl pieces. Once your eyes, beak, feet, wings, and All About Owls tag is on, you can start coloring in parts like the beak and the feet. You can also add some yellow onto the eyes. You can also add the wing detail, making a small W onto the wings. Before moving on to the inside of the owl, you wanna cut through the center of all of the parts that you have glued onto the front so you can open the owl like a book. Now you wanna gather up your owl life cycle pieces and glue them on to one side of one of your flaps of the owl. Now you want to glue on the actual pieces for the life cycle. The owl life cycle should be egg, chick, owlet, fledgling, and adult. It should look like this here. Switching over to the other flap, you're going to work on your owl adaptations and in the blank spaces, you will add in what they are used for and how they help the owl. You're going to cut along the dotted lines and then fold up all of the flaps like you see here and glue them onto the side. They have sharp talons to help kill their prey. Their feathers give them silent flight to sneak up on their prey. They have excellent hearing to sense small prey. They have supreme vision that can see in day and night, and they can easily blend into their surroundings with camouflage. Moving to the middle of your owl, you are going to glue on label an owl. You will take all of your pieces and label where they belong in the little rectangles. Your last piece to the inside of your owl is to put on your All About Owls writing piece, which you can put over your label an owl just above so you don't glue on top. You can add in your owl information here. You can use what's in your book already or you can use what's on the next slide. There are 200 different types of owls. They are known for being amazing hunters, thanks to their adaptations. And now your owl craftivity is completed and ready to share with others in your family.
Did you know when an owl eats something that it is unable to digest, it spits it up or regurgitates it into these things called owl pellets? These are different types of owl pellets from different kinds of owls. And today you have one in your kit and we're gonna look at that and do some experimenting, dissecting the owl pellet. Get your owl pellet, your pick, and your tweezers. Open your tin foil to find your owl pellet and use your tools to carefully break off pieces a little at a time. We were able to find tons of bones in our owl pellet. What did you find in yours? Don't forget to share with FCL. Thanks for joining the Fairmount Community Library Learning Lab and learning all about owls. Don't forget to share what you have in your owl pellet.